Uh, we teach students from all ages, so um, children through to adults, um, it's, it doesn't really make any difference, it's, uh, we, we cover all ages. I qualified with Cambridge University and I decided to come and live in Portugal because I'm Portuguese. To me, the most important thing is to um, pass on my knowledge to other people. And so whether it be a child at school having difficulties, whether it be an adult um, who wants to learn a new language, my main goal is always to help people to achieve their goals. So if we expand, then that's brilliant. If we stay as we are, I'm happy with that too. It's not just about the school, it's more about helping others and getting them to realise their goals. Here at OnsiteTalks.tv, we are talking with businesses in Algarve, in the south of Portugal. And today we are visiting Victor, who runs language and tutoring school in Tunis. Hello, my name is Victor and I am the founder of Atena. This is my school. We are a language school based in Tunj. We teach English and Portuguese to children and adults and we do tutoring to school children from the local area from second and third cycle through to secondary. Hello Victor. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. It's very nice to meet you um, here in Tunis. So you in this small town you created a language school right that's right yeah uh, since when uh, uh, is it working uh, we opened in september 2020 mm -hmm. so it's it has been a while since you're teaching uh, what kind of uh, students like small uh, children adults uh, we teach students from all ages so um, children through to adults um, it's, it doesn't really make any difference it's uh, we we cover all ages and why in Tunis? It's quite a small town. <laughs> it is. Um, I like Tunis because it's quite central to the Algarve. Um, uh, it's, uh, it has many uh, uh, cities around. We have Abu Feda, we have uh, Silves, we have Algorj, which is a nice small town as well. Easy access from the A22, from the IC. Um, it's just a nice central point and it's, um, it's a really nice town, very family orientated and it just seemed like the ideal spot really. Let's talk about your background. Uh, have you been in the languages all your life? Like what's your... Um, well, uh, I became an English teacher uh, back in uh, 2013 and um, I qualified with Cambridge University and I decided to come and live in Portugal because I'm Portuguese. And so I thought it would be a good idea to come to Portugal and teach English to Portuguese people and teach Portuguese to English people or to, well, not just English people, to anybody who wants to learn Portuguese because we have such a big community uh, of international people here in the Algarve. So. Uh, how long have you uh, lived in the uh, UK? I lived in the UK um, most of my life. I went there when I was a baby and uh, I left when I came to Portugal. So about 30 years. Yeah, it's so nice that you came back to Portugal in yeah. some small town, you created a business. Yeah and uh, you're really fluent in English but uh, uh, it's no wonder because you live there all your life exactly right? yeah uh, so, I have the best of both worlds <laughs> all right so let's go uh, next to your school yeah and let's see how how you have set up your classrooms and okay everything. let's okay. do that then yeah so this is your office right uh, yes that's right what does it mean Athena 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 is the Greek goddess of knowledge uh-huh so uh, Language is the knowledge that exactly. you associate. Exactly, yes. Was it uh, difficult to come up with a name for your school? It was actually. Uh, I spent many days thinking about this and researching and trying to come up with something that really would work and that would communicate learning and knowledge. And so um, this is what I ended up with and I'm quite, quite pleased with that actually. So at the moment you are in Tunch uh, with this kind of small office. Uh, what is your dream uh, long term? Do you want to expand to move to another town? So? Well, um, to me, the most important thing is to um, pass on my knowledge to other people. And so whether it be a child at school having difficulties, whether it be an adult um, who wants to learn a new language, my main goal is always to help people to achieve their goals. So if we expand, then that's brilliant. If we stay as we are, I'm happy with that too. It's not just about the school, it's more about helping others and getting them to realize their goals.
Mm -hmm. And how many uh, teachers do you have at the moment? At the moment, uh, I teach the languages. Uh, I teach Portuguese and English, and I have uh, two other teachers who do tutoring uh, to school children of maths and various other subjects, but mainly maths. And uh, if there are school children that need tutoring in Portuguese or English uh, or French, I also help them with that because my knowledge of French is sufficient to tutor school children. Mm -hmm. and so you said you teach between uh, children and adults. Uh, what are they coming from? Are they from Tunch or...? Uh, they come from all around. Um, I have students that come from Lole, uh, Almansil. Uh, I have students that come from Silvj. Uh, they come from all around. They're not just local. The, the children tend to be more local from local schools in Tunj and in Algorj and Silvj and Albufeira. They're the main schools that we sort of um, cover and Padern as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so we cover that area for schools. Adults, they come from all over. So how do they find you? Um, mainly through social media and word of mouth. Uh, I found that social media has really helped. Um, I have done very little advertising as far as um, paid adverts. Um, I just um, put posts out there and shares and likes. And then as people have walked through the door, they like what they see, they like the service they receive. And then they just tell everybody else and um, it's just organic. Mm -hmm. And uh, your courses, do they have all of language courses have certain program for s several months or what are the packages you offer? Um, basically we have two different uh, modalities that we offer. Um, we can do conversational lessons where people um, learn uh, phrases and uh, sentences and just to get by in day-to-day -day life, things that are essential to them. These are tailored to each uh, individual in the class so it's not just a set lesson. Uh, the lessons vary depending on who's in the lesson in the classroom. Um, when it comes to the other modality, we offer a full structured course where they learn um, grammar, they learn vocabulary, they learn pr um, pronunciation and we, we include all of those things in each lesson and it's very structured and they have uh, regular assessments and at the end of the course they have a final assessment and they get a grading so it's very formal so they can choose whether they want sit down learning with all of these formalities or whether they want something more casual where we just sit and chat and learn sentences. It's, uh, it's entirely up to each individual. And uh, you have a lot of one-on-one uh, -on -one classes, so it's more in groups? Uh, we tend to have quite a few one-on-ones um, and small groups. Uh, we don't have any large group classes at the moment. It's not to say that we want in the future, um, but as it stands, it's more focused on small groups or one-to-one. -one. But again, we're quite flexible. All right, so let's go inside and okay. check your classrooms. Okay, well, let's do that then. Okay, so here we are. This is the space. Yeah, it's a big space. So this is where you work usually? Yes, when I'm not teaching, this is where I work. So I sit here, I plan my lessons. Uh, if anybody walks past and wants to say hello, they can come in. Friendly face to greet them. And you see it's quite a big space, what is your plan in this area? Um, well at the moment we keep it simple because obviously we have to disinfect everything on a regular basis and it makes it easier. Um, but in the future we're going to think of some soft seating maybe, some nice plants, something to make it a bit more homey. Yeah. yeah. So let's look at your rooms. Yeah, okay, so we have three classrooms, okay, and the first classroom <laughs> is this one here. Um, so it's probably the smallest of the classrooms. Um, as you can see, there's a TV in the corner there. Um, we can plug in a computer into there uh, to do a presentation of some sort. Uh, we can put a DVD to help us when we're teaching or to make it a little bit more interactive. Um, this is an example of a lesson where we would be teaching vocabulary in Portuguese. So animals, and numbers, colors, and then we have some resources that go with it. So um, it's, uh, it's a nice space. Yeah, so it's for four people. Yeah. That's right. And you have bigger rooms as well? Yes, we have a slightly bigger room here. Um, so in this room, we also have four uh, tables and chairs. And um, obviously because of the restrictions we have, all of the rooms only have four tables and chairs. We keep them the two meter distance as is required. And um, we have individual cubicles for people to put their belongings in so they don't have to mix their belongings with each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is the middle classroom um, and then we have the final classroom which is here and this one here has some natural light and its own entrance so it means that if students are having a lesson in this room 
then um, they can come in through this door and therefore they don't have to cross paths with too many other people walking in and out. Um, we have some resources here as well, for example, um, where we would have for English teaching. So we have Oxford resources for adults. Uh, we have uh, Cambridge resources for children. Um, again, resources for Portuguese students coming um, to learn, uh, to, well, to have tutoring, uh, help with their schoolwork. So we, we're very prepared for everybody, whoever comes in, uh, we have something to work from to help them. Do you have sometimes a situation when you have teachers in each of the rooms? Oh yes, quite often, especially in the afternoons because that's when children finish school. So I have, um, for example, I have many situations uh, today uh, being one of those days where uh, I will be teaching in one room and then we have another teacher teaching maths in another room and another one teaching Portuguese in another room. So um, we have this flexibility, thankfully. Great. Yeah. Okay, so I'll lead you out. It was a pleasure to meet Victor in Tunis in his language and tutoring school. If you would like to know more what they do and what courses and languages they are offering to learn, uh, check the links below. You will find there also all the contacts and uh, I hope to see you in other videos.